machine mic. back again today so this week the silage pit is getting well it's already been cleared out we've put a railway sleepers up the back of the pit to make a nice new flat face at the back to stop the soil sliding in um, the bit up the back of the soil that gets covered with plastic uh, but the rest of the pit the concrete pit is getting tarmacked so the day the boys come in and they've prepped the area ready for tarmacking either later this afternoon but I do believe it will be tomorrow before they are here and they will tarmac the silage pit so it will make a massive difference because it well it was all cracking wires showing and you know then the other pit we've got that's tarmacked it made a massive difference so fairly looking forward to seeing this pit done too so I'm going to show you the process when I can, don't want to be recording them <laughs> too much uh, but I'll show you what they've done today, they've basically prepped the area uh, sprayed it all, just ready for the tarmac to go on it so I'll show you all, um, so yeah, see what you think of it <laughs> I am actually at the dung, I don't have much left of dung to go out and then I've only got 30 acres left to plough Father's got the cedar ready and he is going, so the race is on. <laughs> I thought maybe he would have done the dung and helped me get on, but no, 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 no. He'd rather, he'd rather race on with that seed drill and put the pressure on me. <laughs> but uh, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> so I think I've got another three load of dung to go out and then, and then I can get to my plough again. Shouldn't take too long to plough. I think this field on the right is about 18 acres and the field down the bottom there is about 10 and then I've got a headland to do down the road at the main farm. So not a lot left to do. Uh, I just need to try and stay ahead of dad if he'll let me. <laughs> but the two fields up here they're going to get Diablo, which is a later variety of barley, so I don't think it will matter too much if it's in the ground a little bit later. So, ideal, bro. Getting things going, good dry weather, no snow in sight. Thank God. <laughs> so, basically, after I finished cleaning out this dung midden, I basically refilled it with muck and everything out again. So, there's been a lot of dung going out on the last few fields we've been getting ready to plough so here we are this is the pit now prepped for its tarmacking I'm not really sure what they call the spray I did get told but I forgot <laughs> it'll come back to me basically I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of it, uh, it just makes it a bit more sticky for the tarmac to stick to to get a good seal between it and the old concrete floor this whole front patch I think you can just see the outline there it had to get cut out and then a line along there because it was so badly cracked that when you walked over it it was starting to move which wasn't ideal so They've dug it all out and they've re... Pretty sure it was cement that came in. I hope it was cement, I didn't see it come in, but it's been put in anyway. And now it's all been prepped, ready to go. So tomorrow this will all be getting tarmac. So I'll see what I can show you. And uh, yeah, then I'll show you the final outcome. You can just see right up the back. I don't want to walk in this. 
but right up the back you can see the old railway sleepers we've put in along the bottom of that uh, at the start of my video we were cutting one because it didn't just quite fit to the side wall there's still some of the original curve that's quite good at the very edges but over the years the middle bit has been getting cracked and broken so um, we put, put those railway sleepers in and uh, that should make well, Tarmac will go in against it, hold them in and that'll be a lot better than it was, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you what the crack is later on. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Pretty cool. Makes you wonder what the hell a councillor playing at, eh? Councillor bugger on the boot. <laughs> I'm fair to get on with that machine. That's uh, some bit of kit. Nah. 
Hmm. Interesting. What a difference. As per, I'm going to be, um, to put it politely, shit fear when I'm loading this with a buck rake. Uh, just fear of the spikes ripping the floor up. <laughs> That's a lot better. This will scrape up nicely with a bucket light next door. You just need to look after it. You know, it's, it is quite soft, just for spikes and that, but see when you're just using the bucket. It cleans up very nicely. So these were the concrete sleepers that we've put in. I was talking about earlier on. That was the original curb. But with it being at the centre of the pit, it got a bit more abuse. So that's still solid. So we had to cut one of the concrete sleepers. Dad had to use, well, quite a few still, sla still saw blades to get through. We could have used a stone blade, but <coughs> they're full of rebar wire and stuff to try and strengthen them up so to cut one had it in there so gave it a really good edge for all this tarmac the idea of the soil back is if i ever wanted to we can take it away and then build the pit further back and extend it get more silage in that way because it's silage makes better uh, when it's in amongst the walls rather than above it, but it's not, not a problem being above this, above the walls, but you can definitely roll it better safely <laughs> when it's below the walls or even just level. Is a uh, well, when was, was it last year or the year before, we're in this pit, and uh, when I was rolling the pit, I was. <clears throat> I could look over the top of the, the roof of that shed and I'm not exaggerating <laughs> it was just quite a peak but <clears throat> that was uh, unreal <laughs> so this is the machine they've been using I was recording earlier so the not sure if you've seen but well you wouldn't have seen it because I didn't record it but basically the lorries reverse in dump their loads of tarmac puts it in here and it's got a walking floor fucking hell I feel the heat off of this Jesus so basically walks it back these seem to cope up and shunt everything in and it open, opens up to allow the lorry to cope it in then it all comes out here Looks like a load of augers work this part, just to spread it all out evenly amongst it all. And then it looks like a big smoother or something, basically up to the back here. I can't comment because I'm no expert on this, I didn't, I've, I've, not, I've not used it. But, quite a machine like. So that was Mac Creek that were in that done that. And I dare say they've done a very good job. They've done next door's pit as well. I think it was three years ago, four years ago they done that pit. For three loads of silage in it anyway. <laughs> and that made a big difference to that pit. And uh, it will make a massive difference to this pit. So better silage onward than upwards. <laughs> well. Got to keep your pits good because I know you saw the wires coming up through and potentially spiking tires and whatnot. So.
So, hey, what a machine! And uh, don't worry about these bills, they're duffs, they're no use, they're not getting fed to the coos. That'll be, that'll be very poor, but I'll be putting them through the bed or into the dung midden, I think. So, Dad's got the cedar going now, and uh, he's sowing the first two fields. I've just finished spreading dung yesterday, and then these guys come in and uh, well, we've done that cracking job, and it's not even half two, I think it is half two the now. So I've done a fantastic job, but aye, Dad's done about 15 acres, maybe just more than that. So, I think he's fair enjoying the new seed drill. Uh, it's going pretty well, good power harrow on it. The old one was pretty good too, the old Rabbi. Apparently that was advertised on the telly going through a quarry. <laughs> and that was how it was advertised. But this is the first field he's sown. And you can just see him doing there in the next field, maybe. No sure. There's quite a few stones here, so we have to go in with a quad vision trailer and lift them all. Somebody's talking about a stone grape that goes in the front of the tractor. If you're going up and down the hills here, you drive down the hill and stones will fall off the front. <laughs> and we need all the weight we can get on the front to keep the nose down to get more grip, so I think we're doing alright. And then we just go about with a quad biking trailer. It's never caused any bothers before, it's just the way we have to do things. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we need to stick the other power harrow on and go. Oh, pardon me. I'll stick the power harrow on, go around the first round of the the big hill, and uh, crumble up some of the heat rig for Dad, and then I'll go back, finish ploughing. Well, get ploughing again, and then I'll got one heat rig to do, and in, the... in one of the fields, and I've got two fields that I was plastering with dung just there, not that long ago. Stop interrupting me. So, hey, plenty to do. 30 acres left to plough. Job is a good one. Um, just gonna need to try and stay ahead of Dad now. <laughs> but, hey.